So this woman, let's call her A. One night, A is with her boyfriend. Let's call him B. They're woofing around with alcohol and who knows what else in the mix. They decide they're going to play a game called If You Fit. So she asks him to get into the suitcase to see if she can close it shut. And so he does, to see if he fits. What he wasn't expecting was that she never intended to open it back again. So she goes upstairs and goes to sleep while her boyfriend is still screaming his lungs out inside the suitcase begging her to open it up. But she doesn't care and goes to sleep as she is completely wasted. A couple of hours later she wakes up and goes back to check on him. She notices he's not moving, not doing anything else anymore. He stopped breathing. Surprise. So she calls 911. So the paramedics and the police get there and obviously it's too late. He didn't make it. As the cops ask her questions, she tells them they were just hammered and goofing around. But they can tell the whole story is off. So they bring her in for questioning and ask for her phone. And it shows a completely different story. As she got him in the suitcase, he soon asked her to let him out. And she's like, nope. He kept begging her to let him out and she just laughs at him, saying, no. He tells her he can't breathe. And she responds. That's what she feels like when he is beating her up and cheating on her. She left him there for 12 hours. She went to sleep, woke up the next day and then called the cops with a sob story, which the cops didn't buy because they saw the phone recording. And because her attitude was the absolute worst, multiple lawyers refused to follow through with the case, giving the prima donna's unbearable attitude. And the case kept getting delayed. Welcome to the wonderful world of loving relationships.